Hi, I'm Frank Rohr, President and Chief Scientist for Delta Waterfowl. And as you can see, I'm standing in a shallow wetland. I got my mud boots on, but it's only three or four inches deep where I am. Out in the middle of this thing, it might be five inches deep. This is a super valuable pond for ducks in the early spring. We've just thawed out here in the, in the prairies, and this pond, actually this morning, was frozen, had a skim of ice on it and no ducks. But by midday, it thawed out, and the ducks piled in here. Uh, when I walked out here, there were 150 ducks on this pond. This is the type of wetland they really like in the spring, the, the first arriving migrants. And what they're doing is foraging out here, and they're mostly getting energy. They're getting weed, weed seeds, and in this case, soybeans. This was a soybean field last year, and they're picking up those high energy sources. They'll get some invertebrates, but mostly invertebrates come out of more, uh, more permanent sorts of ponds, seasonal ponds. This is a temporary pond or we call it ephemerals. They're just sheet water in fields. And, and this is what is most valuable for ducks right when we thaw out and the ducks pile in here. And then later they shift to the bigger ponds, which are still solidly frozen right now. So these early ponds, great for ducks. And the fact that this pond will get farmed this summer, this will probably dry out by the time the farmer plants this field and he'll put in corn or something like that. But that does not decrease the value of the pond. Next spring, if we have moisture, it'll be another great feeding site for ducks. So small wetlands, really valuable early in the spring, but it's mostly for the carbohydrates, the high energy food sources. So that's the story on these small ponds.